what's going on everybody good morning welcome back to another stream and it is thursday morning here and uh we are going to play some final fantasy 14 i'm going to continue my character's journey um my rain my archer ranger character that i made um So let's just get into it. Enjoy some nice pistachio matcha. <laughs> I'm almost done with it. Cause it was incredible. But um, I have like an hour, hour and a half before I start work. So I figured I would uh, just continue my character's journey in Final Fantasy XIV. With the little moogles, I can't get over how cute the little moogles are. Alright, yeah, so I logged out right next to the, um... The Guildmaster. Matter of perspective. Uh, so the Guildmaster wishes to instruct you on the fundamentals of archery. Let's do it, man! I'm gonna get a new bow. Then I have to choose, like... A piece of gear, alright. Yes, quite. Number of targets have been hidden throughout the city. <laughs> oh, you want me to seek them out, huh? Got you. I like how her character is so short and she has to look up to him. That's such a good feature. Each will fall easily to your heavy shot technique. When you complete the task, return to me. Sure, let's go. Let's go, bud. Heavy shot is my number one. Ooh, I see something shiny here. Kya! One out of six. Oh my god, it's so beautiful right now. Look at the sun shining through the trees. Gorgeous. Hey girl, you missed you missed the target back there. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 there's one right there, there's one right there! This is actually a cool quest, man! What do you mean, too far away? I'm an archer. <laughs> oh, there's one. Three out of six? This game is absolutely gorgeous. I literally cannot get over how gorgeous this game is. One day, all this will be mine. Really? Wow. High ambitions, sir. I love that you can, like, walk through any... Can I go down there? I can go down there. That's awesome. Airship ticketer? I love this. This kind of gives me like the vibe of starting World of Warcraft all over again. It's like every little corner there's something to do. There's like somebody to talk to, some door to open, and a new building to go into. Oh hey. Look at that. Alright, so we really need two more. I wonder if my frame rate's okay. Seems a little jaggedy, I don't know why. That's weird. You mess with my settings here. Hold on guys.
I think I need to uh, limit my graphics configuration real quick. So you can limit it to specifically 60 FPS. That's not good. I need it to be 60 FPS in order to actually work <laughs> for the stream. Well, maybe this will work. Hopefully that's better. I had this issue with World of Warcraft too. I'm sure there's like some kind of add-on that I can use to tell me the FPS too. Well, let me know if that looks better. I think I think we're already we're already golden. We already golden. All right, let's go find some more targets. Yeah. Five out of six. Yeah, buddy. What place is this? The Carpenter's Guild. We make chairs. What's up, Ron Ron? I think I see my last target over here. Nice. Hold on a second. I had to put something on my computer's power button so my cat doesn't turn it off. What's up, Bernadette? Whoops. Ah, you have returned. I trust you have begun to comprehend the crucial importance of seeing clearly. The next trial will test your powers of observation in battle. Travel to the North Shroud. And there, put eight Microgus and eight Oop Oops. In contrast to the inanimate and wholly unthreatening targets of the previous trial, these creatures may be relied upon to move around and fight back. Nor are those the differences being comparatively numerous uh microcus and oop oops are anything but difficult to find and yet you may be assured that this task will test your powers of ob observation albeit in a different manner this time you will need to evaluate the abilities of your opponent in so doing you will learn amongst other things the microcus produce a poison that can quickly saps one's strength while oop oops like archers possess the advantage of ranged ability knowing their strengths how will you go about mitigating them you commence your attack before identifying an efficient strategy you will soon be made to regret your folly but if you take the time to observe your targets from afar you will surely glean the knowledge necessary to defeat them i look forward to hearing your success keegan 
Let's go! Time to go kill some oop oops! <laughs> All right, so we got to go down this way, then this way, then this way. Gotcha. To old Gridania we go. Wow, that person looks really cool. It's one of my kin. <laughs> Hello, good sir. Ah, uh, this is the wrong way. Something really shiny over there. I forget, do you have like skills? <clears throat> skills in this game? Maybe K. Character, stance, actions, and traits. There we go. There's player housing in this, huh? Really? That's fucking cool. I like that a lot. Any game with player housing is really fun. I mean, if they do it right, you know? I feel like in ESO, they struggle with that. Like, they have so many options and so many different things to do, but it's like... There's no real point to it and go worse to player instance um, slash player housing like actually gives you benefits. You can have like um, gathering nodes in there and stuff like that. And it resets daily, so it's something beneficial. Let's go get this Aether shrine over here. Yeah, the stream is much smoother now. Okay. Okay. All right, the oop oops are over this way. Turn iron for that glutton of a lalafell. Aye, past this gate into the west you'll find the tree speak stables. Hmm, if memory serves, the iron snaffle of yours Looks like the kind they use in chocobo brittles. <laughs> Bud wine would be the fellow task about that, of course. He looks after the chocobos there, you see. It could well be that he is in need of the snaffle. Let's go. Let's do it. Hold up a sec.
Where's that thing gone this time? <clears throat> eh, oh, I ain't looking for your chocobo. Though one of the birds is becoming a proper bloody handful. No, it's the snaffle. For her brutal that I'm after. Bugger's gone and vanished, I see. Our snaffles are made special, see? To fit each chocobo's beak, like so replacing even a tiny snaffle like the one in your... Um, bugger me, is that? I. Tis the self's fame. One that is lost, but why so sticky? And are, are these teeth marks? <laughs> there you go. Bodwine. Strange. I don't know the foul beast's garb you found this in. Oh, what providence you deliver ye, the hero to s that slew it to me here today, but ye've my deepest thanks. With the here snaffle, I can finally get back to my training. That yellow feathered menace of mine. Tick. This with my thanks. Wow. Item level. All classes. Okay. Let's do the all classes. Currency. Minted in the third Ashel era. Exchangeable for Gil. I guess I'll take the sh I'll take the shirt. Thanks, Bodwine. Oh, this has intelligence plus one. Okay. Where is this exactly? At our perspective, okay, so it looks like the oop oops are right over there. Come here, my little oop oops. I need to slay thee. Oh, they look like little monkeys. Oh, that's a really cool ability. What? Cool. Wow. What is this, the venomous bite? Cool. Getting the hang of it. Delivers an attack with a potency of 200. Can only be executed when straight shot ready. Toxins are causing damage over time. <clears throat> I 
I guess I should lead with that shot, right? Like, let me lead with that shot. Oh. Alright, cool. We slayed the oop oops. Now, where the hell are these suckers? Up there. We've walked into Peace Garden. Okay, there we go. There's the Microchu. It's like a Pokemon. I think I could kill this tree and sapling. Probably not. It's level 17. Oh, I joined a fate? Okay. Let's see if I die pretty easily from this boss. <laughs> Finally, an enemy that actually damages my health. Ah, too much. <laughs> Okay, it ran away because I went out of the area. That's fine. Maybe if I had somebody else with me, we could do it. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, looks like my health automatically regenerates outside of combat. That's always good. One more micro chew. Bada bing, done. Oh, I had to go south for that one. Let me go over here since since I'm over here anyway pick up I'll pick up the um the master aether shard whatever you want to call it
These like bird lizards. It's an interesting um race. Level 37, huh? I would get one shot probably. I better speed through here. Three, two, one, go. Uh oh. And we made it to Alder Springs. Okie dokie. Chocobos will be able to hire upon getting to level 10. Alerting the spell teleport, you are now able to travel instantly between Aetherites to which you are attuned. Access the teleportation menu by selecting teleport under travel from the main menu. Teleport. There's a fee. Why? Why do I gotta pay a fee? Let me go back to New Gridania. Return back to New Gridania. That was cool. A little teleport thing. That's really dope. I may as well go turn in this quest while I'm here. game makes me appreciate the character movement and flow of Guild Wars 2 a lot better. Is there a cutscene? Finally? Cool, I don't have to read. Oh, I do have to read. Welcome back, young geek, and tell me, were you able to put your techniques to good use? When faced with an enemy who can attack from a distance, simply raining arrows upon it is wasteful and dangerous both who wrote this the battle will be not more than a contest of strength by employing the appropriate technique however one may bring down one's foe with greater ease and fewer arrows for instance you may choose to prime your weapon well and strike hard or employ toxins to sap their strength over time on the assumption that this fact dawned upon you prior to the fall of your 16th target, I congratulate you on passing the trial. Lee, Silvare, what is your honest evaluation? Not bad, if you ask me, the adventurer pulls a good bow and is enthusiastic besides. Pleasure to meet you, my name is Lee. Lei. Lei Alipo, and this is my second year at the guild. Quite plain that you have the talent with the bow, but you must take care uh, to mind your surroundings when you're pursuing a target. I have my eye on you from the uh, from the duration of your trial, but not once you did you notice my presence. <clears throat> That's true. Silver, your every movement is wasteful. Wow. Dang. Okay. Your back is crooked <laughs> and your elbow is misaligned. It takes you an age to prime your bow and twice as long to loose an arrow. That's very true. It does take me a long time to loose an arrow. <laughs> In summary, you fail on all accounts. You have no talent as an archer. None whatsoever. Wow. 
Talk about harsh. I shall say it plain. Lucien, this man is not fit to wield the bow. For our sake and his, we should revoke his membership. As I've always said, outsiders can scarce to be expected to understand. Never mind, master, our noble art. We waste our breath trying to teach like this. Teach his like. Well, allow me to introduce you to Silver, our comrade at the butts. <laughs> The fellow was once of the gods quiver, you see, and he can be a little opinionated when it comes to archery. Oh, but you mustn't pay him any heed. He's like that to everyone. Oh, really? You'd be lucky to get much sense out of a fossil-brained wild wood. He's in like him at the best of times <clears throat> with them. It's always 12s wood this and elementals that and oh, ahem, no offense intended, Lucien. None taken, Lay. I know full well that some of my kind can be prideful to excess and intolerate by the races. Intolerate. Although people may be, be may behold the same object, ever will the different things. There is no right or wrong to it. For it is a question of perspective. Go now and resume your training. I look forward to marking your progress when we next meet. Okay, let's go. What am I supposed to do? You didn't tell me what I'm supposed to do. Fair enough. Cool, I got a new bow and I got a new shirt. Roll actions. You have learned a roll action. Roll actions are spells and weapon skills that are assigned to all the classes within a roll. DPS, tank, melee DPS, range DPS, and healer. Rather than a specific class, roll actions are learned in the same manner as class actions via leveling, but only need to be learned once to be able to use them with all participating classes within a role. The role section has been added to actions and traits. Found under character in the main menu. Selecting it will display the role actions you have learned. Okay, let's check it out. Character. Roll. Instantly restores own HP. Cancels auto attack upon execution. Target unbound if damage taken. <clears throat> Affinity Archer, Bard, Echinist, maybe? Cool. Untradable items. You have obtained an untradable item. This item is yours and yours alone. It cannot be sold or traded. Great. Unique items. You have obtained a unique item. As this is special, you can never possess more than one at a time. Fair enough. 
The world can seem clear when viewed down an arrow's shaft, but an archer must think more of just the target. Okay, so those little things are your inventory slots. Need to be level 10. All right, let's go down here then. Starting to look like an archer. Wow. My new bow's pretty fast. Level 12. I am level 8. Maybe I could take it. Let's try it. Stuck. Yes, we did it. Woohoo! Take that, tree monster. Oh, okay. The Bannock. Let's do the side quest first. Delivery. Here you go. They don't care about. <laughs> I don't know what my character used. terms of like stats you know i feel like it's dexterity but i have a lot of stuff so affects physical damage dealt by gladiators arms okay so this doesn't really help me it's better than what i have though <laughs> better than what i have that's for sure 
<clears throat> All right, what's up, Golford? Greetings, Gigan Archer. My own sent to sent word to expect you. My name is Golford, and I am responsible for training our twin adder recruit. I thank you for volunteering your assistance. The Twelve's word has much changed since the calamity's arrival in the seventh umbral era five years ago. The power of elephant elements wane, and the harmony of the forest gives way to chaos. A great abundance of life has been lost as the strong run rampant, stifling the weak and new sprung. Though it may not appear so, so to the eyes of an outsider, Twelve's Wood is ailing. It's once rich in variety and a fading memory. For the citizens of Gridania, the restoration of the forest is a sacred duty, and it is my hope that adventurers such as you will offer to aid them in your struggle. Listen to their requests and do all that you can. May the elementals bless your endeavors. Thanks. I guess I'll just go with the bronze, but I mean, do I even have boots? I do have boots. Again, they are not of the rogue affinity. It's fine. Let's see what else you got for me. Maple for bow. So you're eager to lend a hand that as well but i cannot in good conscience send you to the forest until i have established that your equipment is a, is equal to the task the bears repeating that in the five years since the dawn of the seventh honorable era many of the twelves were creatures that transform into vicious bloodthirsty monsters oh no venturing into these forests without the proper gear is tantamount to suicide I suggest that you take some time to evaluate your equipment. Once you deem your armor to be sufficient quality, present yourself to me for inspection. Equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with the gear of item level 5 or above before returning to speak with the Garford. Head, body, hands, legs, feet. Sure. <laughs> gear. You can view and equip or move gear by either selecting character on your character from the main menu or by pressing C on your keyboard. Equip an item, first select the desired slot. This will open the armory chest from which you can select the item you wish to equip. Finally, from the sub command menu, hit the equip button. Head, body. Oh, I don't have arm guards, but I do have. I need feet. I need feet level 5, don't I? I do not have that. armor chests okay uh, can I go buy something <laughs> repairs settlement um maybe over here maybe this will uh this area will give me some gear. I have to go all the way around. Oh, those things are creepy. when <laughs> when you're as good as I am <laughs> alrighty then
It's like a chocobo ranch. It's cute. that means so can I not teleport down here that's annoying I guess I could teleport back. I need to go to a, I need to go see a merchant so I can buy some stuff and like. Shop, 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 shop. Hunt board. What is all this? can be bought and sold from vendors all across the area. Purchasing an item is as simple as clicking on the item in the shopkeep's inventory, while selling an item is as simple as dragging an item from your inventory or armory chest. You can also sell item by right-clicking and selecting and sell. If you happen to have second thoughts about a sale, you can always buy back. Where can I buy gear? Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh.
I have level, I am level 8, so I can actually buy this stuff. I'm level 9. How much gill is it? I'll buy it. Um, what else do I need? Equip. Unable to execute command while occupied. Well, what? Cannot change gear now. Why? Oh, okay. Um, and I need some arm guards. Sure. Is it the same as like hands? Yes, yes it is. Nice. Now I can actually continue my quest. Oh. Five level, five level, five level, five. Genius. What's going on, Hyperion? How are you? How are you doing on this fine Thursday morning? Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming back to the stream. Really appreciate it. Stuck. <laughs> Cool, my heavy shot hits 29 right now. That's pretty good. That is good. Doing some blender stuff? Nice. I like blender.
Okay, what options do we have? Oh, it gives me dexterity. What do I have right now? Dexterity. Maple short bow. And this is a maple short bow. <laughs> Ah, Gigan, by your tireless efforts, you have proven yourself a friend of Gridania. I believe you can be trusted with sensitive intelligence. I would assign you a mission of considerable import, yet the need for secrecy prevents me from disclosing its details until you have pledged your participation. I am authorized to tell you only that it concerns suspicious activity in the Twelveswood. Say that you will lend us your aid, and I shall proceed with the briefing. Um, yeah. Galfer needs an adventurer to investigate suspicious activity in the Twelveswood. Sure. Good. Time is of the essence, so listen well. You will by now have heard that a suspicious individual has been prowling the Twelveswood. And you may also be aware that Ixali activity is risen sharply in the region as of late. Region as of late. What you may not know is that this increase co coincided almost exactly with the first record recorded sighting of the aforementioned individual suspecting a connection we tightened our surveillance in hopes of tracking down our unknown visitor alas our quarry is providing to be exceedingly elusive almost as if he knows our movements ahead of time but where whole units have failed the lone adventurer may yet succeed acting independently and covertly you may be able to close in on the quarry unannounced unnoticed fear and anxiety are beginning to take their toll upon the citizenry. Begin for their sake. I ask that you aid us in this investigation. You have my gratitude. With your help, I am hopeful we will shed light upon this mystery. Begin your search at Life Men Stump. It is there that the majority of your sightings took place. Be forewarned. My people cannot offer you support lest the quarry catch the scent of your presence and evade us yet again. Proceed with caution. You got it. Let's go. Some quests you will encounter objects in which you can interact with by simply approaching them and right clicking them. <laughs> Chasing shadow. Level up, level 10, finally. Let's see how fast we can take this guy down. cooldown is much faster now it's crazy magic blade interesting what is this You're about to enter an instance battle. Instance battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Take a moment to read the information displayed in the active help window before answering the call of duty. If you're above the maximum allowed level, it will be synced as follows. Level 9.
proceed. Sync it up. Look, someone's already here. Oh dear, is that a sword and a stump? Bad idea. Really bad idea. It takes a lot less than that to incite the green wrath, you know? Why, the first time I came to the Twelves Wood, is this we almost ended dark up as a stranger? tree stellar, just for crashing our airship in the wrong place. It was all Papa Limo's fault, of course. No, no, then, not this he'd sooner one. swallow not his staff close. and admit Keep that he's wrong. If you don't mind, I'm gonna have my breakfast. Hmm. You know him, Kublo Cop? Is it Kublo? Well, not exactly, but we did once share a carriage. Isn't that right? How are the readings? Same as the last. There is a disturbance here as well. And newly manifested at that. Kublo Kopp seems convinced of your innocence. Ever since the calamity, the forest's been really sensitive. The slightest disruption to the and this sort of thing happens. I faced one of them, but not three of them.
Right. Hey, good morning, Tiny Bear. How's it going? Excuse me while I eat my bagel. <laughs> Some mysterious gem just appeared. Oh, what? crazy crystal bearer was that shone throughout this realm yet it has since grown dim and as it hath faltered so hath darkness risen up in its stead huh? presaging in the end to life for the sake of all I beseech thee deliver us from this fate The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. Okay. Let's claim some crystals. Reveal themselves to thee. Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. Okay. Heart's kind of vibe. Angelic, very angelic. You fainted. A surfeit of ether, no doubt. Hmm. And what have we here? Our culprit, it would seem, an Ixel, and no ordinary. That they would venture this deep into enemy terror. <laughs> this is Papalimo. We found How the culprit. How are we feeling then? It was an Ixel Better? chieftain. Yes, we'll seek Brother Esunian's cooperation in the matter. Giant crystals. Dark. 
Hmm. Understood. Kuploka. Please bear word of these developments to Brother Esumiyan. We shall soon... Understood! Here is where we part way. Okay. Nice meeting you. <laughs> I think that sword might be a clue. You should definitely... Don't suppose that adventurer could see Kuplo Cop, do you? And this occurs to you now? <gasps> yes. It. Well, time will have to, because you won't. You never tell me what's really going on. Unless. <gasps> you don't know what's going on either. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Cute characters. Okay, I'm gonna go back, turn this in, and then I have to log off to start work. Wow, like the waterfall, that's nice. I wonder how many maps there are in this game. Everybody, here's where I part ways for today. Thank you for tuning in for this morning stream of Final Fantasy 14. For those of you who join, I really appreciate it. Um, I will see you in the next stream. Uh, when that will be, I do not know. Um, seems like I have some time in the mornings during the week, so I'm gonna be busy on the weekends coming up. Um, but uh, look out for a new YouTube video that I have on Guild Wars 2 arriving tomorrow at noon. Um, so check that out. I also just released a, another YouTube video on Guild Wars 2. Uh, I'm working on some Final Fantasy um, videos. So uh, playing the this, you know, on these streams, you'll see this exact footage from the stream in my YouTube videos. Um, so you get a first glimpse into what's actually going to be in there. Uh, until next time, everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day.